Ladies and gentlemen, now in today's video, we're going to be checking out the buffed up version of Mantis. So they've made this character a little bit easier to ramp up. Um, and also, she's got a little bit more damage on her special too as well. I think they upped the Fury uh, by about 10%. But now, whenever you hit into the opponent's block while they have the Intimidate, which you need to do a light ending combo to get, um, you get two mixed emotion passives in comparison to what was previously one. So, as you can see there, we actually got super lucky, dude, and got the full 20. And that's all we need to kind of, like, ramp her up for a massive special 2. We actually need to get to the special 2 as well. So, we're going to charge this up. Get the heavy to uh, as close to 10 stacks as we can. Wait for the second chop. Fire that off. And again, some pretty nice damage. That was probably, like, the... Uh, the perfect um, Mantis rotation that you can hope for. Uh, again, you want to play like really, really aggressively into the block. Um, and yeah, we got uh, actually 20 stacks again. Didn't even have the uh, the Gamora synergy there as well, which is fantastic. But yeah, let's smash in another combo if we can. And then I think just one more. Then we want to look for the opportunity to charge up heavy here. Wait for the second hit. Oh, dude, that was really, really close to being a um, a KO there. <laughs> but yeah, the, the special two damage, again, not that much has changed previously. Uh, I think it got about a 10% upgrade or something. So she did hit very, very hard before. But uh, the mixed emotion cycle, dude, is absolutely crazy now. Again, if you get the right RNG, dude, it literally is. I can't believe we did that like consistently twice in a row. Get the full 20 stacks there. Um... Yeah, that was that was really, really good. Mantis, like, playing this character over the last week and a bit, she feels a little bit more like a mutant champion <laughs> trapped in the skill class. Where it's all about, you know, the uh, the special attack damage. But, dude, on the right note as well, something like, um, you know, Power Shield or something that really enhances that special attack to damage. Because, again, the special two, as long as you, like, Heavy charge and then cancel into special two. It's a guaranteed crit as well. Don't want to wait for the chop. Then go in. So yeah, almost 200,000 damage. Really, really easy to access as well. And I think um, just having like a lot more of a chill ramp up is going to make her potentially a lot more viable in battlegrounds. Because again, that is that's pretty much a um, a battlegrounds health pool there. Okay, I did not do a very uh, good job at ramping. Okay, I want to switch to the taunt now. And then I'm going to go for the hits into block. And again, I'm a little bit new to playing Mantis, so apologies if, like, occasionally I'm messing up. But there we go, man. That was, that was really good. Yeah, Mantis is... Um, Honestly, in terms of like just playing her fight to fight, feels a lot better, a lot, lot better for the core damage rotation. Uh, and again, I believe those are the only two changes. I think the intercepting one is still, uh, it's two of the mixed emotion passives on the opponent. It should have been four. It should have been four a little bit more. I'm just going to test it here. So let's get the, the taunt up. Yeah, dude, like 10 of those to get a special two in comparison to just hitting like uh, 10 times very quickly into block. The block is by far the easier route. Like there's there's no question about that really. So yeah, they, they also should have buffed that one to four. I really don't see why they didn't decide to go for that as well, because still getting like five intercepts for a, a fairly sizable special two is still quite a challenge, you know? Okay, wait for the chop down. And there we go. And I think I can actually go straight into applying the oh. I applied the Intimidate, but then Juggernaut just decided, hey, we're just going to throw an Unstoppable. So it kind of kind of wasted that one. But again, it's actually quite easy to switch back and get that, because we can go Taunt. Oh, actually, I needed to dash back there to get Taunt. So we go what, two hits, dash back. And then we do a Light Ending Combo. And then we smash into the block a little bit. We should, like, crits into the block as well, or, like, just a, a little bit more of Manus's kit. Okay, there we go. Oh, looking very nice. 
Okay, right, let's get the Intimidate up. Oh no, he's still decided. Uh, you know what, I'm the Juggernaut, dude. I'm just going to throw that special. So yeah, previous time, I do remember like a lot of awkward scenarios where you wouldn't really get like that many hits into the block. To be fair, we can even like go for a bit of a shorter one here. You know, four stacks. Again, you don't always need to go for ten stacks, but it seems very easy now to actually get up to the... um. Uh, the full 10 in your average fight. Okay, let's do Rhino, and then we'll take around a couple of fights uh, just across various content. But, like, getting this champion, if we are going to get to a scenario, which I believe we will be in the next, like, you know, 12 to 24 months, where there's going to be something like the Banquet event, maybe not this one, maybe it's going to be next year's Banquet event, um, but it's going to give, like, new players in some way, shape, or form, I would assume accessibility uh to to seven star champions like they did with the first banquet event where like six stars were also on the table man that one was uh, uh a little bit nuts there and i'm curious to see if like um you know somebody just gets mantis as one of their their first uh champions as like a seven star and could just like dominate the game because yeah i mean she's got like a fantastic um Kind of like chunk of damage just to get through most content that's kind of like pre um pre act seven okay let's switch to the the taunt okay we got the final intercept there okay let's charge this up And there we go. I need to explore, like, using her relic a little bit more. I don't think there's, um... Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to think of, like, fancy stuff that I might be able to do with, like, charging up the heavy attack and then, like, cancelling that into relic and combo, but it's just not going to be as much as that special, too, of, like, the, um... Uh, the guaranteed crit on everything. Like, that is so good uh, in terms of, like, an ability to have. Uh, so yeah, it is really, really nice. Okay, I want to try Mantis just on the... It's got to be done, man. It's got to be done. This uh, this should be a very, very fun path for Mantis here. We've got the Power Shield mode. So this is, you know, your basic attacks. Because Mantis' basic attacks are like literally none of her damage, man. Such a small percentage. Like it's all from the special attacks. Um, so yeah, theoretically speaking, she should just one-shot here, I think. I also do need to uh, get power at some point with a recharge node. And I guess like hitting into um, blocks as well. Just need to be a bit careful. Oh yeah, there's also bubble shield, so I need to make sure I don't get hit too much on the, uh, the blocks. Okay, right. Oh, okay. It actually doesn't scale up quite as crazy as I thought there. Because, yeah, it actually doesn't add, like, that much on. <laughs> but it's it's still... It still looks pretty cool, man. It still looks pretty cool. Okay, I don't know if I can, like, use the special one here to finish. Hey, we should be good. Drax is down straight in the bin. Um, we've got Blade up next. Blade and Hulk. I think Hulk's probably one that we can one-shot here. But I feel like I need to find like one more path after this. Just like a standard um, path to test her out on. But let me know if you've got any like crazy paths or scenarios where you've used uh, Mantis for. Like prior to her buff. And like anything that she's really good for. Because again, I only got this champion like a... Uh, barely a week ago, and I've, I've still got a lot of learning to do. Okay, we got the, the taunt active here. Finally can evade blade specials. Let's go. Okay, I think I just want to, like, combo him. Light combo. Get the intimidate up. I love that the sleep is a passive. 
Oh, that okay, dude. That is what I wanted to see on the first match there. Yeah, that's um that's pretty good, dude. That's pretty good. I mean, you also think about it realistically as well, and if you are, you know, going through a bit of progression, you're probably gonna be running like at least a 20% booster, probably a 30% booster nowadays, because they are so common. So your ability to, you know, just one-shot these matches, um, if you can get the setup right, is is pretty damn fun. Oh, I think I went in a bit too much there. Oh no, we're good, we're good. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna taunt this man, see if I can get him to throw that. Fantastic. So I actually just need to hold block to get my power up on this node. Okay, we can go into the big charge. Come on! Oh, so close, dude, so close. We have the, the class of... Oh, it's buffed Hulk, isn't it, as well? Dude, have you heard about this man's physical resistance? Absolutely off the chain. Oh, no. I uh, I forgot about the recharge node there and didn't uh, take into account the additional power I need. And we get no crits here. Oh, mate, shafted. Absolutely shafted. And then got wrecked by the uh, the unblockable there. Oh, okay, so strikers just uh, get around that node as well. Okay, that's that's pretty sick. <laughs> uh, well, you know, overall, Amanda's did good there, dude. She did good there. Like, she's certainly uh, not too bad at all for nodes like that, but didn't scale up, like, quite as uh, quite as well as I thought. All right, so I was just having a, a little bit of a look into Act 8 here. So we have this Disarm Special 2 node. So I think as long as we just stun the opponent, uh, we get rid of their weapon. And then they take 400% more damage from special 2 attacks. Uh, I think it'll work really well on Blade. I don't know about Spider-Man Miles Morales though. Because I know he goes uh, invisible. So yeah, I'm a little bit, a little bit unsure. But yeah, let's just stay super aggressive here again with the Intimidate. It just um, makes the AI like very likely to uh, just track blocks off. Okay, uh, does have debuff immunity here. That is uh, potentially a little bit of a, bit of a thing. I think we just bait this out and then we get rid of the weapon, right? Oh, but I need to wait until the debuff immunity is gone. And then do the big charge. Okay, yeah, that's that's enough damage, man. That is enough damage. Okay, wow. I mean, that is the scaling I was thinking of. We actually didn't even have the full uh, ten furies there. We just had nine. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that is uh, that's definitely it, man. That's definitely it. I don't know if it will actually work on Miles though, because I think automatically he goes invisible. I don't know if he can. It will, like, guarantee that he dodges projectiles. I think it's just uh, physical. Uh, sorry. Guarantee that he dodges physical stuff. I think it's just projectiles that he guarantee dodges. And the debuff immunity certainly is a, a bit of an annoying node, actually, for uh, Mantis. Again, she needs to apply the debuffs in order to get her mixed emotion passives, unless there's like some additional criteria that's activating it. Okay, I need to stun this man. Okay, I need to now wait for this man's debuff immunity to uh, go away. That there is a chance here that this is just going to fail. Oh, no. We chillin', dude. We chillin'. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Right, who who do we have next on this path, actually? Oh, dude, is it Craven and Mojo? Ooh, okay. Those are, those are, um, pretty fun fights. I mean, they're tricky fights. We'll do these two as our last two bosses today, I think. Because, yeah, these are, these are going to be tough. There's, there's no guarantee of success on either one of them. Um, but if I die, it's probably more on me being a scrub. 
than Mantis uh, being bad. Okay, nice. We've pushed him to the um. Yeah, I think now I've pretty much got the combo lined up, right? So I just wait for the the weapon node to come off cooldown. I go for a parry. Chuck this in. We charge up. Easy, mate. Easy. Let's go, dude. Okay, I'm enjoying this buff, dude. <laughs> yeah, that, that makes it honestly so much easier. When you got like a tricky fight, tricky matchup, just to very quickly ramp up and then like line up that win condition and just execute on it, man. It's a good time. Very good time. Okay, Mojo is uh he's infamously mega annoying, so we'll see how this one turns out. All the friggin' power gain as well. He's probably just going to use his own special attack and start triggering his uh, fun aura. Okay, I think I just wait for this aura to be over. I gotta start lining up a win criteria though. Oh, I think I got it right. Yeah, yeah, we good. Oh, let's go, dude. Let's go. Um, yeah, the more I play Manus today, dude, the more I'm like, okay, I actually love this buff, even though, like, it isn't much, and I do think they could have, you know, added a little bit more on top of that. Uh, it's really, really good. Like, for the scenarios where you just need to line up an absolutely massive special two uh, very quickly, there's a huge amount of consistency as well playing the champion, because, like, everything is guaranteed crit. Um, so yeah, I feel like Manus is she's feeling in a really, really good spot, especially again for any certain nodes or scenarios which really enhance that special 2 damage. But I'm also curious to see how this makes her in um, uh, Battlegrounds as well, now that she has like a crazy lineup, a huge amount of burst damage, it's 100% reliable, and you can just get there very quickly. Um, so yeah, ladies and gentlemen, let me know your thoughts on Mantis in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy today's video, please do smash that like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you all very much for watching. Take care. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day.